Right, Gary, you've seen the install, you've seen the batteries, you've seen the panels. What do you think? Welcome back to another video. Now this one's a bit different. We've come to an install, but it actually went in about three months ago, but we're not here alone. We've got Gary Does Solar on the channel today. We've got a customer. We're gonna look at his savings, get a review of his system, and Gary is gonna give us his feedback on what he thinks of a heatable install. I can see him, let's go and check it out. Gary, good to see you. I'm feeling a bit nervous about this. It's good to see you as well, Ben. Well, listen, it's one of my customers and I'm precious about my customers, so this better be good. I think it will. Let's go and meet two then. Yeah. How was your drive down? Not too bad. We're going to go to his house now. We're meeting yeah. Gary Does Solar. He's going to like look at the system, like give us his like feedback and take on it, and then we're going to do yeah. like a bit of a performance review. So he's used 1.1 megawatt hours. Yeah. He's generated 1.32 megawatt hours. So it's going to be a good yes. video. <laughs> All right, mate. Cheers for that. Appreciate it, brother. See you in a bit, my mate. Good times, we're <laughs> feeling better now anyway. <laughs> Flashback. Here hey, he is. How, are you, How are we doing? I'm Ben. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, as good well. to see you again. Good to so, see you as well. Yeah. Should we have an opportunity now? Should we go and look at the install? You yeah. can mark our homework. Yeah, let's have a look. Fantastic. First things first for Gary, let's start with this Tesla battery install. So Ben, tell me what you've done here for the customer and why. So we went for the Tesla Powerwall 3 on this one. Yeah. Didn't go for the M phase batteries. Just a couple of reasons to do with the size of capacity and some grid limitations. Yeah. But Powerwall 3, 13 and a half kilowatt hour, big powerful inverter. But we've AC coupled it. Because yes. he's got the micros yes, on the course. roof. Yeah. We've not used Tesla's inverter. We've just AC coupled that. Gateway for off grid. Good. It's a nice neat install because it's back to back with the mains. The Tesla's an all in one unit. Yep. End phase reduces the amount of equipment as well, doesn't it? Because you've just got the envoy, that's the brains yep. in that box there. And the only connection to the battery is this cable here. Yep. That's the AC cable. There will be data coming from the battery as well to go around the end phase because yeah. we want to give the battery eyes on the solar. Very good. Aesthetics yeah. are important as well. Yeah. We've got to try and keep it neat, haven't we? I like it. It's very neat. I, personally, I quite like it when as much of the wiring is hidden as possible. And uh, so this is this is really good. I like the fact that you chose a Tesla, especially for two him because He's got a lot of high energy use appliances in the house. He's adding yeah. air conditioning, and this thing can pump out, what, 11 and a half kilowatts. He's gone for AC. Yeah. He's, he's thinking about a heat pump. That's going to increase his demand. These renewables, I've got to be able to power it. Yeah. And we've got the gateway. So if he gets any grid issues, he wants to come off grid, it will keep the solar pumping as well. So that's, the, that's sort of the design thesis. Making it look right is really important, but yeah. designing it's equally as important. Do you want to come see the panels? Yeah, let's have a look. Right, go on. He seems happy. Let's go and look at these panels. So we've got multiple elevations. Panels, REA Fusion 2. Yeah. Black mounting system. Yeah. Looks slick. It does look good. And then we've got the bird proofing that we use. Yeah. So we don't do the mesh. Right. We only do this stainless steel frame system. And why is that? longevity and aesthetics okay so the stainless steel obviously doesn't rust doesn't go some of that chicken wire stuff can look a bit unsightly yeah the actual clip is designed for that panel and it sits nice and flush doesn't restrict air so it keeps it nice and cool on an on roof system and because of the bifacial we're just trying to not block as much as we possibly can but we want to keep pests out yeah aesthetics is a big thing for us so you know this is a nice property nice yeah. estate you don't want to stand out like a sore yeah. thumb. So, benefit of this one, AC as well. We can run the AC inside. Yes. So there's no cable jumping over grids and all that yeah. kind of stuff. So, 
you know, this is what I like to hear from installers. So many installers just want to do the job, get it done, get out, get on to the next job, and it's just wrong. You really need to look after the interests of the customer. Like you say, not just today, what's it going to be like in five years? What's it going to be like in 10 years? This is the kind of installer that you know, people yeah. should be going with. And premium kit as well. Yeah. You don't want to be going back to it, do you? And you don't no. want to be constantly going down, it's offline, it's got problems. Your premium kit and premium support, it's yeah. a, it's a, you know, it is a lifelong project you know, for us. And, and, and for the customer, this is a big investment. It's got to look right. Gary's audit seems to be finished. Let's go meet to him. Let's find out about his experience with Heatable. So we just wanted to kind of have a quick cover off because mm -hmm. it's good to meet customers and be mm -hmm. on site. And what we're always wanting to know is like, who, how do you find about Heatable? Mm -hmm. Obviously we've got Gary here from Gary the Solar today. So to forget that Ben's here for the moment, mm -hmm. um, I, I see your installation, it looks really good, but I want to get behind this now. Mm -hmm. um, what's your impression, not just of the installation and how it performs, mm -hmm. but what I really want to know is what's your impression of Heatable, who did all this for you? Mm -hmm. Did you have any problems after the installation? And what were they like in terms of support? Okay. Um, Sorry, Ben. So I don't, <laughs> I'm ready. Uh, Heatable has been <laughs> excellent all the way through. There were no issues with the installation, barring one where there was one panel not reporting, um, which got fixed pretty quickly by contacting them. Um, and I was able to do that only because, you know, the system I've gone for uh, can be monitored on my app, so I knew exactly and which panel got, was not. You've got microinverters. I've got the microinverters. So you can inverters. see yes. what each panel yes. is doing. All right, so exactly. you're able to see where the problem was. Yes. Report that in. Okay. That's right. And then there was another time we needed um, to contact Heatable uh, yeah. to fix one of the uh, reporting issues, which yeah. again got solved pretty quickly. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, we'll give you full marks for that then. Yeah, no, I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, think for us, you know, on installs, things can go wrong. Things get put in the wrong way panel doesn't report, what's super important to us is coming back and getting exactly. it sorted. Exactly. And it's it, the worst thing for a customer, and I've been there myself, and it's all bit, the whole thesis of the business really is, if it goes wrong, we'll come back and we'll sort it, and there's no challenging. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're happy to put our hands up and say, we've made a mistake. Yeah. But leaving customers, it just, that is the bit of the industry that drives me insane. Yeah. Well, I, I get this all the time. You know, people contact, a lot of people contact me, yeah. and they say, I've had this system installed like three or four weeks ago, I've got this problem with it, you know, I've reported the problem, the installer doesn't want to know. Yeah. Uh, I, I just, it, it just, uh, it, you know, it almost upsets me that people are spending a lot of money mm. on a system just to essentially get ripped off, you know, yeah. because the installer's walked away onto the next job. Yeah. So for me, actually what you just said, Ben, is so important. Having an installer that's there for you after the system's gone and after it's working, even if it's six months down the line, yeah. to answer any questions. And I think that's what Heatable is providing here, so it's good. So what was your bill before you had the system? My direct debit was £122 for gas and electricity. It's yeah. come down to £76 already. And my electricity bill is just reducing. But when it got installed on 22nd of August, for the first three weeks, because I had to get the MPAN number and stuff so I wasn't exporting, I did see I was not consuming any electricity. All my consumption for the house was coming through the panels. the panels into the battery and then the battery feeding it. And then the system, obviously we helped you design, is yeah. everything about this system what you thought it was going to be? Is it overperformed? Is it underperformed? Has it met expectations? Would you have done anything differently? Um, so I think it's too early to say whether it's underperformed or overperformed because I'm monitoring it. It's just been a couple of months. Um, since installed. Well, since installed, yeah. but it seems to be doing a fab job. Yeah. Um, would you have done anything different now were you in this place? Maybe you're looking oh, at it. You would Just get more panels if I could. I mean, there's just no space in my roof. roof uh, yeah. But yeah, I wouldn't change anything. But you've maximized your roof. You've got a really yeah. good size battery, 13 yeah. and a half kilo hours. Yeah. You've got the gateway. Yeah. You've got the microinverters and yeah. you've got the car charger. Yeah. So you, you're sort of ready for the next step. I can see you've got some air conditioning mm. and stuff in the background, mm. so you're doing the full works. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I, all I would say is, ideally I would have loved to stay with the same sort of co company, like same system as an end phase. That yes. was the desire, but the end phase battery available in the UK is not up to mark as the test of our wall three or yeah. the other one. So yeah, this is a really competitive product. Yes. I, I, I know yeah. the brand has some challenges, yeah. but from a product perspective, yeah. it's very, very competitive, the build high. Mm -hmm. I suppose you've got the M phase car charger, mm -hmm. you've got the ACM, which is the panel with the yeah. M phase 
microinverter built in. You've yeah. got the Envoy reporting system. Yeah. It's the battery, really, that's out of that system, exactly. isn't it? So, exactly. But it does integrate quite yeah. well, yeah. doesn't it? And yeah. you can monitor the panel's performance with the battery, sure. and the, which is quite... There's a lot of systems on the market where one manufacturer can't see the other. Mm -hmm. You can do that with Tesla. So yes. Really good. Yep. Fantastic. It was great to meet you today anyway. That's brilliant. Really well. appreciate yeah. that. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to hear that Tuhin is over the moon with its system. Now, I had five minutes left and I wanted to ask Gary some questions about the industry and just learn a little bit more about where things are heading. What sort of trends do you think are in the solar market right now? But more importantly, what do you think is in the market for 2026? I mean, right now, I think people like a single sleek unit in their house, either in the garage or outside. One unit, so like an all-in-one system, yeah. uh, either DC or AC coupled. I'm a big fan of DC coupled systems generally, but sometimes a an AC coupled merits. I think in the future, though, it's not just the box, it's the capability of the box. So some really nice software that allows the customer to connect to energy trading systems. I think that's going to be a big thing. So using a battery almost as an asset, not only to save money from panels and energy, but trade, use it on the grid services market. Absolutely. I mean, you know, customers have spent a lot of money on their system, so let's make the system work for them. But let's do it in an automatic way so the customer doesn't have to worry about the ins and outs. Uh, the system will decide for itself when best to trade energy with the grid, and then the customer just earns the money. I think that's the big thing for next year. So a big question that comes up to us yeah. all the time is, is it worth it? How much am I going to save? Can you give us some sort of insight on typically what you'd expect to save with solar and a battery? Um, really, I think customers should be looking at almost zeroing their electricity bill. Now with a heat pump, it becomes a little bit more difficult because that's extra usage. But actually, I know quite a few people with installations with a heat pump and they still have a zero bill. So I think that's the target that people right. should so, set. So it's not so much about pounds and pence, it's about getting your bill to as low as possible and if we can hit zero that's the goal that's the ambition yeah absolutely so if you're watching this now yeah and you're thinking about getting solar but you're not sure what would your advice be where would you start for a lot of people including myself when i started looking at it i knew nothing even though i've got an electronics background so there's a lot to learn and actually i think it's really good if people learn as much as they can before they start talking to installers like yourself yeah. uh, that makes it easier for you as well to help the customer if they kind of know roughly what they want yeah so look at as many youtube videos as, as as possible obviously i have my own channel but there are other channels out there learn as much as you can don't be afraid to ask questions now you've got solar you've got a battery system in hindsight would you have done anything differently if you could do it all again um, I think I was lucky in that I did a lot of research, so I kind of I think I made most of the right decisions. Of course, technology is always moving on. I wished I had better technology, but I think the main thing people should look at is look at your roof space and don't just think about the south facing roof or the east and west facing roof look at all your roof spaces and see how many panels that you can get up there because if you're going to get everyone in to do the job you on site you might as well get everything done because it only costs just that little bit more and there's a lot of benefit by having you know as much generation as you can i think maximizing it absolutely you would maximize it yeah, yeah. that opportunity i think a lot of people say that to us after they've installed, the next question we get is, oh, can I have some more? Oh, I get this all the time from people. Yeah. I, and I've never heard anyone say, do you know what, I think I put too many panels up there. Yeah. I never hear that. So look, we're on your directory and we're working with you. I think this is a great opportunity. If you could share some feedback on us, any pointers you could give us, uh, what are customers saying about Heatable? Well, one of the important things about my directory, I wanted to make sure I was in touch with the customers that were going through it. So um, what you might not be aware of is that I get a lot of feedback from customers who have selected Heatable and they get in touch with me, I write to them and I ask them how they get on. I want to know what their experience is with you as an installer. Um, so I've got a very good view of that. And uh, I have to say that it's, you know, I, I haven't had any negative comments. People are very, very happy with the systems that you install. And if I ever did get any negative feedback, then I would obviously feed that straight to you because I want it to be successful for everyone. Yeah, it's really important, isn't it? I mean, we didn't realize how much you are actually with that customer on that journey post-install or even yeah. post-feedback from a, you know, an inquiry, a design visit. So it's great to hear it's positive, obviously, for us. And we'd yeah. always want to know if there's ever a problem we need to know about. Yeah, I think, you know, that is just so important. People are spending a lot of money. Uh, I'm putting my name against this. Yeah. And so I need it to be successful. 
uh, and so far, you know, I'm very, I'm very happy with everything, you know, how everything's going. Very, very happy with your installations that you're doing for people, and uh, long may it continue. I appreciate that, it means a lot. Really enjoyed that one. It's great to get such positive feedback, both off a customer, but also off Gary Does Solar. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. Any questions, drop a comment below. And if you don't already follow Gary Does Solar, head over to his channel. He's got bags and bags of content about solar systems. Whether you're starting out or you're an expert, you're gonna find something there. And also check, are you subscribed to the Heatable YouTube channel? Because if you're not, you could have missed this and you'll definitely miss the next one. See you there.